Hi guys, happy Friday. Today we're going to make this warm and cool watercolor jellyfish. So we're going to learn a little bit about the color wheel and using warm and cool colors. We're going to try out a fun watercolor technique that uses salt and we're going to do a watercolor pastel resist. So here's what you'll need. You'll need a piece of watercolor paper, some watercolor paint, paintbrush, some water, some painters or masking tape if you want to create these edges like I did, um, salt, any kind of salt will work fine, and then you'll need a white oil pastel. And if you don't have pastels, then a crayon will work just fine. You'll just have to press extra hard with your crayon. All right? Let's get started with our jellyfish drawing. Now I've chosen a pastel that's slightly off-white because I want you to be able to see what I'm drawing. But um, you may want to choose a pastel or a wax crayon that's white um, for your drawing. You'll be able to see it a little bit more in person when, when you're drawing it. So we're going to draw the body shape of the jellyfish first. So we're going to draw kind of a big rainbow shape at the top of the paper, but we want to leave some space at the bottom of the paper for the jellyfish's tentacles. Okay, and then the bottom part of this is kind of just a wavy line, and it doesn't have to be completely even. All right, just like that. Now, for the details of the jellyfish up here at the top, we're going to make kind of this smile curve. It's like a, a U or a smile or an upside down rainbow. And then in the top here, we're going to make um, kind of like an eye or a football shape in the middle. And then we're just going to repeat that on both sides. Okay, I'm pressing hard with the pastel so that you can see it, but you also, if you're using a crayon, you wanna press hard so that it leaves enough wax on the paper to create our resist when we add the watercolor. Okay, now um, on this part of the jellyfish, we're going to draw these lines that are curving like the shape. Um, okay, so the ones in the middle are a little more straight but as they move around the shape, they're slightly curved to show that this isn't a flat shape we're looking at. It has some, um, some curve to it. Okay, and then just to add a little more interest to this area, I'm going to put some dots or circles along each line. Okay, so that's the body of our jellyfish. Now we're going to work on the tentacles. And this part, you can get really creative, really crazy with them if you want. This jellyfish is floating down in the ocean, so its tentacles are gonna be floating all around it. If you need to look at a picture of a jellyfish online while you do this, that's okay too, to give you an idea of how to make the tentacles. So I'm gonna start with some simple kind of curly and wavy lines. I'm going over them twice so they'll be thick enough to see. Maybe this one will float up towards the top. All right, now the next kind of line that we're going to make, these ones are a little more difficult. So I'm just going back and forth, back and forth. And we may do just a couple of those. We don't wanna to do too many. Okay, I think I want a few more of these curly tentacles. There we go, maybe one more coming up there. Okay. So the drawing portion of our jellyfish is finished. Now we're going to move over to paint. 
You may have noticed that I put tape around the edge of my drawing. Um, that's because when we paint it, I want there to be a nice white border all the way around. Um, and that's gonna give it a kind of a, a finished look. It'll make it look like it has a frame without actually having to frame it. Okay, so we're going to use watercolor to paint our jellyfish. And I wanna talk to you a little bit about warm and cool colors. So if this is a color wheel, and if you split the color wheel in half like this, you have two different families of colors, okay? On this side, you have what we call warm colors. Warm colors are the ones that make us feel warm or think of warm things like fire and sunshine and lava. On the other side are what we call the cool colors. And just like the warm colors, they make us think of things that are cool, like rain and snow and the nighttime sky. So for our jellyfish, we're going to use warm colors on the body and the tentacles of the jellyfish. And for the water in the background, we're going to be using cool colors. And what it's gonna do when we use these colors separated like that is it will make the jellyfish really look like it's popping from the background. All right, so let's take a paintbrush and some, you've gotta dip your paintbrush in the water first to use the watercolor. And so let's start with um, a light, one of the lighter warm colors like yellow. All right, so we'll just spin our brush in that yellow. And I'm just gonna paint some parts of the jellyfish, but not all of it. So I'm just doing it kind of randomly, just putting some yellow in there. And then maybe going over a couple of the tentacles with the yellow too. Okay, and just keep going with your warm colors. You could use red, you could use pink, um, you could use yellow green, that's a little bit of a, a warm color. And just go over all the lines that you drew. Isn't it cool how the pastel is resisting the water in the watercolors? That's because oil and water don't mix. So the oil from the pastel or the crayon is repelling the water. So it's going all the way around the drawing, but the paint is not covering over the drawing. Okay, so now we're ready to do the background with our cool colors. So those are going to be, um, let's see, purple or violet, blue, blue green or turquoise and green. And just like we did the um, jellyfish, we're just gonna take a little color at a time and just kind of paint little sections. I want my paint darker than that, so we've gotta add more paint and less water. And we'll just paint little sections of the color that we have on our brush. Down here, you'll paint. And you'll notice that if your um, warm colors aren't dry, they are going to bleed into the cool colors a little bit, um, but that's okay. I kind of like that effect. But if you don't want your colors to bleed together, um, then you may need to wait until the warm colors are completely dry before you start adding in the background. And I wanted to show you this little technique with the watercolor. So this is something that we do in my classroom and my students absolutely love doing it. And that's adding salt into the watercolor to create a really cool texture. Now, this salt technique is only going to work with paint that is, that is really wet. So it's only going to work in, in the paint that you can actually see that there are puddles of paint. If the paint has dried, like up here, it's not going to work. So I'm going to just pour some of this salt into my hand. And then you see these little areas where the, the paint's really wet. We're going to just sprinkle the salt in there and watch how the salt just eats up that water. It just soaks it up. And then when it dries, 
you can knock the salt off and it has a really cool texture. It almost looks like um, bubbles in the water. Let's see, I want some up here too, so I'm just gonna go ahead and add some more wet paint. Remember, it won't work if the paint is already mostly dry. And just sprinkle it in. Now after the painting um, starts to dry, if you feel like some of your colors aren't dark enough, you can go back in with the watercolor and um, add some more on top, like layer some more on top. Okay, now we're just going to let it dry, then we'll peel off all the tape and reveal your masterpiece. I hope you enjoyed creating this warm and cool jellyfish together, and I'll see you next week. Bye!